Yeah, no. Well, I just want to know where did the where did the sales skills come from? You know, because you were you were were you doing door to door? No. Uh, so I was I did direct sales, but I had to run my own. So I'll start with sales. I got into a direct sales job where you have to you start with friends and family, build a referral base, and go from there. And I actually was really bad at it. But looking back, when you were talking about high school, I sold a lot of stuff in high school. Jordans. I, everyone would come to me. I was selling uh, Sidekick phones. I just would get things for cheap and sell them. So everyone knew I was selling stuff. So I don't know where it came from. I just always liked providing and selling things and giving people deals. I used to burn CDs and sell them to people. So when I actually got into sales, it was such a game changer, Cody, because it was the first time in my life besides hustling where I could actually get paid for the work I put in. And because the job I had, you can't get paid for the work you put in, you get paid for being there. So I got into sales and I remember the first day of the training class, I'm like, dude, this is, I, this is where I could really show my skills. And so the first 10 days you have what's called a fast start. And this was in Eugene, Oregon after I got out of U of O. So I dropped out of business school, which it took me a couple of years to even tell people that because it's like, if you tell people you dropped out, they're like, you're the biggest failure on earth. That's what you think in your head. Now I'm like proud of it. I'm like, sorry, grandma, I'm not getting my degree. <laughs> she still asked me. So. I got into sales and I actually, at the beginning, I, I did well because of my, I knew a lot of people and I broke the record in, in Eugene, Oregon. So it's not some sad story where it's like, I was an absolute failure. And then I went all out for 10 days and it was like, I really found something I loved. It was like, I think I made three or $4,000 in a week and I was 21, 20, 20 or 21. So three or $4,000 is yeah, pretty great. big money, but I, I didn't like just selling. So after the whole summer, I did well, I made money, but I realized, oh my gosh, this is my key to never having a normal job. I love this. And then fast forward about eight months. And I was the quickest in my company's history to go from being an official sales rep to doing a million dollars as an actual manager because I didn't want to sell. I like to help people sell. So I went on a field training, which means someone comes with me. I've never really told this story. You always get out funny stories from me. Um, so someone, pe someone asked me a while back, where did you start getting fulfillment from helping people or where did you know you wanted to be a leader or, or inspire people? Someone said, hey, go with Peter. Take this kid with you. He wants to learn how to just be better. I said, I don't know how to teach him. They go, don't do anything. Just tell him to come with you. Just do what you do. I'm like, all right. He came with me. Uh, he was about to quit. He saw me sell some type of $1,000 set. And he said, you know, I was doing it wrong. And uh, I realized what I'm doing. I was going to quit, but because of this, I'm going to keep trying. He had one of his best weeks he ever had. And there was a team meeting. He was like, I just want to thank Peter. You, you totally changed my life. I didn't quit. My, something about his parents are struggling or they're going to get evicted. And now he doesn't have to struggle or something. I and I was like, whoa. And all you did was what you were I didn't doing. do anything. Yeah. He just followed me. So I'm like, geez, that's, I, I've never had this feeling of like, I was like proud. I'm like, I just helped this kid. I didn't even know I helped him. So that's when I was like, I want to sell, but I also want to lead. I want to build a team. 